So here we are then for the 7th edition of the Formula 1 mid-season review for the team that are competing in the 2014 World Championship. VJ Malia has oversided a great season for the team. They've driven brilliantly well to get where they are so far. Uh, they decided that VJ Malia decided rather that he'd have a brand new driver lineup for this season. Firstly, bringing in the McLarens Sergio Perez, who's done a good job for forcing the this season, and they brought back Nico Hulkenberg, who drove for the team in 2012. It all started off quite well for Force India. They managed to get a double point finish in Australia with Nico Hulkenberg finishing in 6th and Perez in 10th. Admittedly quite a distance between the two of them but I believe that Perez had some problems during the race. Um, going into Malaysia, again another great job from Nico Hulkenberg, almost as if he hadn't been away from the car or the team for a year and a bit. He was able to finish 5th in the Force India, ahead of the McLarens and the Williamses, which is a really good start to the season for them. Uh, sadly for Perez, he wasn't able to start the Grand Prix because of a gearbox problem, but um, a great race anyway for Nico Hulkenberg, able to finish in 5th and a good sign in qualifying as well. And, and, and again, in China, another wonderful result for Force India, the best so far this season. Sergio Perez able to get onto the podium position, able to fend off Daniel Ricciardo in the Red Bull, finishing in third position for Perez at the start and fourth, and Nico Hulkenberg, another great drive from 11 from the grid to finish fifth, right with his teammates as well. Great drive from Force India at that race. They're able to establish themselves as being a strong contender for the season, maybe to even upset fifth, maybe even fourth place. Uh, going into, I think I'm right in saying, the Chinese Grand Prix after the Bahrain one, Force India were able to get another, another double point position. Uh, Nico Hulkenberg in sixth place, another great drive from him, and Perez in ninth after starting way down in 16th on the grid after problems during qualifying. And again, you know, Nico Hulkenberg again getting into the points. He was able to finish 10th this time and Perez was able to finish 9th for the track where they admitted that the car probably wouldn't suit the uh, the Catalonia layout but they were able to pull through in the end and get some well-deserved points ahead of the McLarens once again. And as was mentioned in the McLaren uh, episode, of course India in the form of Hulkenberg again was able to finish in another 5th position at and a great defensive drive from Jensen Button, who, as we know with Hulkenberg, is wonderful at defensive driving. He's able to keep the really quick cars behind him. Sadly for Perez, he, his lap was his race was over after the first lap, after a collision with Button, which was deemed to be a racing incident, and it's what I believe as well. Two cars going into one through Monaco is really tricky at the best of times. And then, as we move over to Canada, after that's... Uh, a good and a bad race in a way for Force India because Perez was on for a, a good fourth position until that accident with Massa, huge collision with Massa, took them both out of the end. Hulkenberg, because of this, was able to benefit from that and finished in another fifth position, but it was a shame for Force India because they were almost leading the race at one point. They, they had There was a possible chance of them actually winning the Grand Prix until they faded just toward the end of the Grand Prix, which was a great shame. Going into Austria, and this time it was Perez who finished ahead of Hulkenberg. He was able to get a sixth place, and Hulkenberg was able to finish ninth on a track that suited the Mercedes engine cars, which is what Force India have, one of the four teams that has that Mercedes engine. Uh, Hulkenberg again able to get into 8th place at the British Grand Prix. He almost had pole position at one point um, but the wet weather conditions just pushed him down to 4th but even though his car wasn't particularly the quickest that day he was still able to get an 8th place which is a great result for the team and Perez was even able to despite the fact that he finished 11th was hounding the Toro Rossos for those final points. Another race and another, another set of points positions for Nico Holdenberg. He came 7th this time at the uh, 
German Grand Prix, Perez came 10th. Um, not much really to note on that Grand Prix except the fact that Full Cindy were able to get a good strategy in and they were able to finish ahead of the McLarens and managed to pull away from it. Sadly though, things didn't go their way at the Hungarian Grand Prix. Um, an accident between the two drivers, the golden rule is that you don't take your teammates off. Um, Hulkenberg hit the side of Perez but went straight on and he crashed out on the 14th lap which was a shame because they were running quite well at that point and then Perez himself made a mistake coming out of the final turn and he crashed hard into the wall and that was the end of Force India's race. It, it's interesting with Force India at the moment because they've got a very very good car and it's a very strong car for fifth place and they're really troubling McLaren, they're in front of McLaren at the minute in the, in the standings but they've got two drivers, although Hulkenberg has been getting the better results, they've got two drivers who are very very equally matched, you watch them during qualifying as barely a tenth or two in it and it can either swing Perez's or Hulkenberg's way. In terms of the team, what can I expect from them for the rest of the season? More solid point scoring positions, I think at Spa, which is a track they always seem to go well at, which is the next Grand Prix coming up, they're going to be a good threat. They're going to be up there, probably battling with possibly Williams and the Ferraris, they have, like they have been all season. They could even ruffle a few feathers with a podium. It's not beyond them to get another podium this season. They might need a bit of strategy work, which they've got two drivers that can do that. Perez can hold on to the tyres and so can Hulkenberg, but so far, they've had a really good season, and I can see them carrying that on into the into the second half of the season. So, let's see what else they can do for the rest of the year.